14-part series on Old Testament dietary law. Messenger Daniel, it is in the name of Yahweh. 
Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Say Shalom Alehem. Peace be to thee. To all my Israelite brothers and sisters, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. We has been deceived for almost 2,000 years of religion deceptions. For many rabbis, pastors, ministers, spiritual leaders, knowing the truth, but I refuse to teach the mass. As we come to more to our understanding, did Abaya recommend the children of Israel not to eat pigs? My friends, when we see the scripture, the book of 2 Timothy 3 chapter verse 16 stated, All scripture is inspired by Yahweh and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teach us to do what is right. I have a big problem with humanity in general, especially those rebellious out of Israel. If all scripture is inspired by Yahweh, and say for what reason is to useful to teach us what is true, but humanity don't care about the truth, they care about lies. And to make us realize when is something is wrong in our lives but humanity today don't care about what is going wrong in the lives it's correct us when we are wrong people don't care if they are wrong because they want to live and do what is wrong and teach us to do what is right people don't want to do anything which is right everything is good for them, that means bad. Because the scripture says the time will come when men will reward what is bad for good. We are living in this time right now. My friend, if all scripture is inspired by Yahweh and profitable for instructions, for convictions, for corrections, and for training and righteousness, if anything do not found on the scripture, what is going to bring to you? Destructions. So everything is not about what is right, is what is wrong. It's about how we have to live our lives. That's what the scripture is all about. It's not about pick and choose what you want. It's about to listen to the voice of your creator, Yahweh, if it is your creator. Verse 17 says so that the men of Yahweh, not the men of Satan, but the men of Yahweh may be complete, fully equipped for every good works. For that the men of Yahweh may be complete, fully equipped, for every good word. That means for the men of Satan, maybe not complete equipped for every bad word. My friends, throughout the scripture, the book of Deuteronomy 29, 29 stated, the secret things belong to Yahweh, our creator. But the things that revealed belong to us and to our children forever, so that we may follow all the words of the commandments. Are you hear that? Are we honest? Deuteronomy 29, chapter verse 29. 
the secret things belongs to Yahweh, our Creator. But the things revealed to us belong to us and to our children forever, so that we may follow all the words of the commandments. That means the secret things we do not know belong to Yahweh. But whatever Yahweh revealed to us, it is written us for our good, not even for us, but for our children, children forever, that we may live according to every word that proceed from the mouth of Yahweh. My friends, in the book of Jeremiah 10, chapter verse 1, Yahweh say, Listen to the word of Yahweh, your hypocrites, your fools. Verse 2. Do not follow the way of the pagan people or the way of the heathens. For the religious are worthless. What more do we need? My friends, Second Peter first chapter verse 20 stated. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of the scriptures have about the prophet on interpretation of things. Above all, you must understand that, that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretations of things. For no such prophecy was ever brought about to human's initiatives, but men spoke from Yahweh as they were carried along by Yahweh's spirit. Most of you do not believe on the scripture because as your say is a man made, man written the scripture. But about TJ book, Clifford Dalla, Obama, Trump, your adults, people, books, you buy them, you read them, right? You satisfy. But when it's about Yahweh, you always have excuse. That's a poor excuse because it is written. All the scripture is inspired by Yahweh, not by men. So, what is your problem? My friends, the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 21 stated, Prove all things. Prove all things. Not something, but prove all things. So if Yahweh say you should not eat pork or pig or swine, so what more do you want from Yahweh? What more do you want? It's a proof all thing. When the scripture say you should not eat pig, swine or pork, whatever your name, your name it is the same. Pork, pig, swine. It's different name, different deceptions. But they are same as the one. It's a proof all ten. Can you prove what Yahweh say you eat you can eat pig anything you want? No. My friends, remember Peter say above all you must understand it that no prophecy of the scripture, no prophecy of the scripture conforms the perfect on interpretations or initiatives give you a different kind of things. My friends, and the pig too he has a split hoof, completed, divided, does not show the card. It is own clean for you. Read my lips. You must not eat pig, bread, blood. 
You must not eat pig meat or toss the dead bodies. They are unclean for you. So if Yahweh said, the pig to he has a split hoof completely divided, does not show the card, it is unclean for you. You must not eat pig meat or touch the dead bodies. They are unclean for you. What is the meaning of unclean? For this world, unclean is clean. Because that's why the scripture says the time will come when men will reward bad for good. So whatever is bad today, humanity has said as good because they are blind. My friends, the book of Leviticus 11, chapter 7 and 8 is what it said. And the pig to divide the hoof and be good for it, yet it should not the cord, it is unclean for you. Verse 8 of the flesh you should not eat. I mean the meat of a pig you should not eat it. And their body you should not toss. They are unclean for you. My friends, and the pig or the pork or the swine to the divide the hoof and be groove and footed, yet it should not be called it is what unclean for you or the flesh so do not eat and the body you should not touch they are unclean for you now we're going to go to the book of Deuteronomy 14 chapter 7 or other of those animals that should occur or that have divided hoof you may not eat the camel, the rabbit, the awats, all to the shooter card, they do not have a divide hoof. They are ceremonially unclean for you. Verse 8 And the pig, because it's divide the hoof, yet should not the card, it is unclean for you. You shall not eat of the flesh, not toss the dead body. So Yahweh say we don't supposed to be even toss a dead pig. You imagine if you eat it, toss only is an abomination, is a sin against your creator. You imagine if you eat pig. My friends, but if the animals do not have both, he may not be eating, so you may not eating the camels, the rabbits, or the rock dodges, because they shoot a card, but they do not have a split hooves. So they are ceremonially unclean for you. And you may not eat the pig, he has split hooks, but does not shoot the cord, so it is ceremonially unclean for you. You may not eat the meat of the pig, or even toss the dead bodies. My friends, if Yahweh say, you don't supposed to be eating meat. 
Today, everywhere in the world, especially those who are living in the United States of America, everything is about pig. Everything is about swine. Everything is about pork. They love pork more they love and anything because Satan knows it's an abomination against our bayawi. Satan knows when you put that pig meat into your body, you automatically disqualify for Yahweh kingdom. You know that, right? You become unclean. Yahweh say, I am Yahweh, I am Kadosh. You shall be also Kadosh. I am Yahweh, I am set apart. You shall be also set apart. If you eat it, something is unclean, that means your body is automatically become unclean. Meaning you separate yourself from your creator just that like in the time of Adam. There's no difference. My friends, everything by the earth, the may products that come from pig, pork, it is the most widely consumed meat in the world today. People eat many different pork products, just as bacon, sauces, pork chop. You might not even know what are you consume when you are eating because you don't pay no attention in what you're eating. Whips, hamburgers, pork fried rice, garrots, pig skin, pork chops, ham, prosciutto, pulled pork sandwich, salami, bologna, head cheese, sauces, bratwurst, bacon, hot dog, pork tacos, pork lions, not even a toothpaste. And you can imagine how people consume pork. When people go to the restaurants, the first thing they need eggs with bacon, hamlet with bacon. You don't supposed to be a pork. Bacon is pork. When you put that thing in your stomach, not even you defile your body, but you are commit a great abomination against your creator. My friends, they make a billions of billions or trillions of dollars a day by making people consume pork when Yahweh say you don't supposed to be eating pork or pig or swine no matter the name you want pick one for you my friends it is a time today for humanity to start by listening to Yahweh six thousand years six thousand years humanity governed the earth but they were nothing but disobedience, rebellions, and all kind of abomination against Abba Yahweh. They make more suffering, more pain, because the more we rebel against Yahweh, is the more pain and suffering we bring on us. My friends, the book of Leviticus 5, chapter verse 1, it's, listen carefully. Whoever can hear to the ear, let them hear what the Spirit of Yahweh has to say with the congregation of the house of Israel. If anyone sins because they do not speak up, when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or heard or learned about, they will be held responsible. I understand that. If anyone becomes aware that they are guilty, if they unwillingly toss anything ceremonially, unclean, where the dead of unclean animals, why or domestic or any unclean creature, what that moves alone 
the grounds. And they are unaware that they have become unclean. Even you do not know, you touch something, you are automatically guilty and unclean. But then they become realize their guilt. That means you will be taking your own responsibility. The blood is going to be in your hand. Or suppose you own no ingredients, touch something that is ceremonial unclean, such as the body of a pig. When you realize what you have done, you must admit your defilement and your guilt. This is true. Whether it is a wild animal or a domestic animal that moves along the ground. So you must take your responsibilities. You are guilty because you toss. Even you do not know. You imagine if you know most of you know you should not eat in pig, but you eat in pig anyway because you don't give a damn about Yahweh. You don't care about Yahweh. There is no Yahweh feeling in this world. No wonder Messiah Shua said 2,000 years ago, when the Son of Man is coming back, do we found any man with faith? Today, you can see there is a big falling away in this wicked world. Long time few people might be fear Yahweh, but these adulterers, vital certain generations, they don't know about Yahweh. Nobody teach them about Yahweh. They remove the commandment of Yahweh on the prophets from the schools, from the prophets, but they teach them about sex. They teach them about violence. They teach them about to call 911 for their families, for their own parents, make them against their parents and their creator. It is a sad situation, especially to those who are living in the United States of America. You are no better than that. You are so wise nation. One nation under God. Yes, you see the right thing. One nation under Satan, USA, United States of America, under Satan authority. That's why there is so many violence, crimes, discriminations, and all kind of hatred in this country because United States become a habitation of unclean spirits. My friends, whoever gonna hear to hear, let them hear what the spirit of Yahweh has to say. To the congregation of the house of Israel. The book of Isaiah, Yeshayahu, 65, chapter verse 1. I reveal myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by them who did not ask me. To a nation that did not call on my name, Yahweh, I say, Here I am, here I am. Verse 2. All day long, I have opened my home to a rebellious people, the children of Israel, who walk in ways not good, pursuing their own imaginations. All day long, I have held out my hands to the obstinate people, state and naked, rebellious people, the house of Israel. But they follow their own evil parts and their own crooked thoughts. It's Yahweh speaking to all of you. Verse 3 A people who continually provoke me to my very face, offering sacrifice and garden and burning incense and altars of bricks. All the Lord. They insulted me to my face by worshiping idols in the sacred gardens. They burn incense on pagans' altars. Verse 2. At night, they go out among the graves 
worshiping the dead. They eat the flesh of the pigs and make stood with all the forbidden foods who say, keep away, don't come near me, for I am too holy for you. Such people are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that keep burning all days. My friends, I will say to you, O house of Israel, who sit on the thrones and spend the night in the sacred places, who eat pig flesh and polluted blood of the bulls. And then they say to one is to each other, one another, don't come to close or you will defile me when you are sleeping on the tombs and the grave eating pig flesh and you have audacity to tell somebody i am too holy for you don't come close to me because i'm holy than you yahweh say you are nothing but a twitch and it's nostril and a fire that is burning all day without smoke that's why you are you can see today the house of Israel thinking they are more set apart when they are more filthy, unclean, committing all kind of abomination against Yahweh. My friends, a lot of you talking about Judas. But at least Judas was do the will of Yahweh by obeying to his master, Messiah Yahshua, telling him, do quickly what you have to do. Yahweh make a covenant with the house of Israel by saying, walk in my words and I will bless you. If you obey all my commandments, I will put you above all the people on the earth. If you obey all my commandments and my statute, I will put you above all the people on the earth. If you obey all my commitment, you will be the head, not the tail. That today we found ourselves, we are the tails without asking questions because we are so stupid. My friends, when Yahweh says something, it is a time for the house of Israel by stop eating pig. Pig no good for you. When you eating pig, it is unclean for you. Not even is unclean is an abomination against your creator. If Yahweh is your creator, why you are keeping eating pig? Sausages, bacons. You are love to go to the restaurant. Cheese and bacon. Cheese and bacon. Hmm. You eat all kind of trash. How can you expect to get a good hurt when Yahweh said that you should not eat it? You think Yahweh is stupid when he told you do not eat it? Because he know the consequence by eating pig. That's why Yahweh said that you should not eat in pig. Because he is what unclean for you. That's the part one. The part two you will know why. When you put pig in your stomach. When you put pig in your mouth, not even the spirit is in the pig when it believes in you, and you also put sickness in your body. You always put a lot of sickness in your body you never can imagine. That's why pork is so cheap in order for them to kill you little by little. Wake up before it's too late. My friends, I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, say Shalom Alehem and peace being today. This is the part one.
We're gonna take it to the island, man, just for a moment. Come on and rock with me. Can you rock with me right here? Come on. Rock, 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 rock. Here we go. That sound of freedom, man. It's got me feet in a trance, yeah. And they're moving in a new way. Yes, sir, it's a new day. No, sir, I ain't worried about a thing. No, oh, oh, oh. no worries. You know the Lord's got me. Guaranteed to tread on any devil try to stop me. And I, I'm, I'm walking in authority now. Yeah, said I'm moving into. Identity 